Welcome to Kids Grow Chapel again. And uh, again, this is Pastor Scott with you today. It's my privilege to be doing Kids Grow Chapel. And we're going to read today our very last story uh, from the Big Picture Story Bible. Uh, this is, and remember, it's telling the true story of Jesus and how God uh, brought about salvation for us through His Son, Jesus Christ. It tells the one story that the whole Bible tells. Okay? So that's very important. I hope you'll remember that as you study the Bible and read it and learn more and more about Jesus. Today, the story is the very good ending. The very good ending. And it is number 26, the last story in the big picture story Bible so let's jump right in all right all right you'll see the picture there and I'll show you that in a moment but uh, do you see the man writing his name is John long ago he had run with Peter to the empty tomb later he had traveled far and wide telling others of God's King but now John was old very old. He would not be doing much uh, in the way of travel or speaking anymore. People who didn't believe his message had seen to that. They were keeping John here as a prisoner. And you can see in this passage, in this uh, picture here, John has bars on the, the window and John is on an island all by himself. Uh, so they, they uh, enemies, those who did not like John's message about Jesus, had put John by himself on an island to stop him from preaching about Jesus. But God had a big surprise for John. There was one more place for him to go. One day, without any warning, God gave John a peek into the future. John was not a, in a prison on the island anymore. He traveled to heaven in a vision. And here you can see John traveling to heaven in the vision. You see the clouds all around John. 
And if you look way down past him, you can see the island and the water all around it. And that's John, God giving John this amazing vision about the future and what was going to happen in the future. An angel showed John many things. John saw the holy room of God and the throne where Jesus sits. You see the throne? The throne where Jesus sits. John saw that. Wouldn't that be amazing? He saw the place of hell for everyone who rejects Jesus as God's King. He saw even Satan crushed forever. And he saw other many fascinating and amazing things. Do you see here, John saw uh, the end. He saw the throne of Jesus in heaven. And of course, hell, where all of those who do not believe in Jesus will someday go. And uh, of course, that's very sad. <clears throat> a new heaven and a new earth. And then... He heard some, something wonderful. A loud voice came from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be His people. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be any mourning, that is, crying, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. I am making all things new. Write this down, John, for these words are true, trustworthy and true. And this was, of course, God's promise to His people that He would give us a... He would wipe away tears, remove all pain, and all sin and wrongdoing, and set up His glorious, righteous, good kingdom uh, someday in the future. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Don't you look forward to that? All the wrong things, all the bad things, all the hurting times, those will all be gone when Jesus returns and sets up His glorious kingdom. After hearing this, John saw a garden inside a city, a river as clear as crystal was flowing from the throne and on either side was a tree of life. You remember the tree of life? All the way back at the beginning of the Bible when God created the heavens and the earth and He put the tree of life in. And Adam and Eve, of course, did not eat from the tree of life. They ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and, of course, was a sin for them to do that. God didn't allow them to do that, but they did it anyway. And that brought on all of this terrible story of how sin has separated us from God. But in Jesus, God is putting all that back together. He's making all things new. And someday when God uh, brings His kingdom in Jesus, we will be with Him. And guess what? Right there in the kingdom of God will be the tree of life. Look at this. You see the throne of Jesus all, all the way back and all the, the tree of life on either side of the river. And the river, the Bible says, is as clear as crystal. I bet that's going to be beautiful. Don't you think? John awoke from his vision. John smiled and John knew. All God's promises, all the things Jesus had told him years ago, they were all true. All of them. The old man could hardly write fast enough. He had seen the very good ending waiting for everyone who follows Jesus as God's King. Isn't that wonderful? See how happy... Do you see how happy John is? John is just so excited that the wonderful things that God has done or will do for His people. We see also God, God's forever people will one day live in God's forever place 
under God's forever rule. And here is a picture, a drawing, of what the city of God might look like. You see John down there having the vision. And you can see over here the city of God where all of God's people will live someday. Won't that be wonderful? So can you believe that? Do you believe that, that Jesus and all the things that Jesus said were true? I believe them. I believe them with all my heart. And you know, the Bible ends with this idea of Jesus' return. In fact, it, it says, John, the old man, John says, Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. He can't wait. I bet you can't wait either for that day when Jesus returns. Well, hasn't this been wonderful to study this book together and read it and learn about the great story, the big picture of the whole Bible? Isn't that wonderful? And we will do it again sometime. But I hope you'll go back and watch these videos and learn more and more from the Big Picture Story Bible. All right? Well, have a good day. God bless you.